weekly in-depth view of agriculture up close. This is In the Field. Presented by Gordon's Feed and Pet. We're here at the Tyson's Feed Mill in Aurora, Missouri to see what they're doing to stay sustainable. So David, you are the live production manager for Tyson's. What does that mean? What's your day-to-day -day like? Um, I've got responsibility for basically everything on the live side of the operation from our hatchery uh, uh, production to our, our broilers and breeders and also of course feeding everything that we, that we have out on the live side of our business. We are here in Aurora, Missouri at your feed mill, my hometown, but what takes place here behind us? So this is really where it begins for a feeding operation. Everything from bringing in raw ingredients, corn, soybean meal, um, and, and a lot of other local uh, uh, supplies. We bring it together, we formulate it, we batch feed just like you were making a cake mix, and then we'll turn it into a pelleted feed or a mash feed, depending on the breed of our bird, uh, to, to feed those chickens uh, on a daily basis. We've got about seven to eight million birds on the ground at any given time, so we're feeding a lot of chickens. Right now we're producing about 4,200 tons a week of finished feed out of this facility. So from this facility, where are we seeing uh, this feed being trucked to daily? From here, you could draw about a 40 mile circle from the mill and cover our, our area. We go everywhere from Crane to Miller, uh, out towards Fairview and Longview, and then of course uh, the uh, Wheaton area is probably the heart of our complex as far as our, our housing. So when it comes to mixing these rations, how much of the grain is sourced locally? Well, our diets are primarily a corn soy diet, and for the last three years, we've been able to basically source 100% of our corn and soybean from local or regional. Now, soybean's a little different because it's produced here, but it goes up to St. Joe area for, to be crushed and then brought back down. Uh, but yeah, we've been really fortunate to, to be able to do that locally, which has not always been the case here. And what does that mean to our, our local Southwest Missouri economy? Well, Tyson Foods in general and Monette, if you, if you consider the whole complex, is an impact of about $210 million a year to, to the Southwest Missouri. What an economic impact Tyson's has on so many local communities, but I also know that sustainability is at the forefront. So when it comes to sustainability, energy is a big part of that. I understand these solar panels just got turned on in July. Yes, that's right. Uh, this is about a year project of getting installed and, and planned to be done, but we've been, we've been actually recouping the energy from it since the end of July. So what kind of impact so far has it been able to make on, on this operation here in Aurora and Monette? The plan was to replace about 20% of our current energy usage through the solar uh, uh, array, and we've been able to achieve that so far. It's looking really promising and maybe a little bit of, of uh, additional savings as we move along. So this might seem like a silly question, but how much does weather impact the energy coming out of these solar panels? Actually, that's a really good question because it has a great impact. Uh, just the seasonality, the daylight hours that we experience this time of year uh, impact the ability to absorb uh, those UV rays. Uh, uh, rainy days, snow days, all of those things impact that. So the way we look at it in a, from a payback standpoint is over time. So let's talk about the why. Why solar energy? Why is Tyson's concerned about remembering renewable energy sources? Well, I think there's kind of, there's two answers. One is it's just kind of the right thing to do. Um, the mill was built in, in the mid 90s and so technology has come along and, and has improved and given us a, a viable alternative to look at. So we're, we should do that is just doing, doing the right thing and making our business model better. Also, obviously energy saving, energy costs that continue to go up. Uh, make us go and look for different alternatives. Why solar specifically really came down to where we're located and what the wind opportunity was versus the solar. We, we already own this property, so it was wide open space that we had the opportunity to use. And we really made just a business decision based off of that once we committed to, to doing the project. So I understand this is the first solar energy project for Tyson's, what's next? Are they gonna be implementing this project, these plans elsewhere? Absolutely. I'm aware of four or five projects that are in process right now, and this is kind of the, uh, the testing ground for where we, where if we see the success and see the payback on it, it makes it a really easy, uh, easy project to expand elsewhere. So what do those numbers look like? How much energy are you saving? So in sheer dollars, we're saving about $8,600 a month. Uh, that'd be the equivalent to about 100 cars being taken off the road from a, from a footprint standpoint or 10,000 trees in a month's time. So it kind of puts it into perspective of what we're really trying to achieve over the long haul. And seasonally? Yeah, that would be at peaks. Um, you know, in, in the summertime, you're going to be producing over a megawatt of power a day. 
uh, in the winter, obviously that'll be diminished about by the, by the amount of daylight hours we, that we experience. You mentioned projects, anything taking place locally? Yes, as a matter of fact, we do have a project to do the same type of, uh, of array over in Monette with our hatchery. Uh, and then we also have in our budget some water savings things at our processing plant that are going on. So how did this project here in Aurora and the future project in Monette all get started? We're actually blessed to have a sustainability group at our corporate office that their sole responsibility is to look for these and support these type of projects. So bringing in the ideas, they have their own funding, uh, has really opened the door for these type of ideas to become reality. We all know Tyson Foods. They have operations all over the world, and that means lots of opportunity, but responsibility to sustainably feed our growing world.